Hello, everyone. Well, we're finally putting 2022 behind us, and it's time to look ahead and see what the tarot cards have in store for you in 2023 when it comes to matters of the heart. I will be using the Rider Waite tarot cards and the Journey of Love oracle cards that contain paintings of one of our favorite artists, Freydun Rizzuli. Today's reading is a -a pick-a-stack forecast for your love life in 2023. It's going to be quick and to the point for those of you that don't have much time. And we will be doing more in-depth tarot readings about love and other subjects as 2023 unfolds. So while I'm shuffling the cards, think about love. Focus and concentrate. Think about the one you love or the love you want to come into your life if you're currently not in a relationship. I'll be putting the cards into four stacks and it's up to you to pick which stack resonates best with you. So give yourself a moment or two to make your choice once I have the cards laid out. Focus on your love interest as you make your choice, but remember to take your time. Oh, and on a quick note, each pile will be timestamped so you can go to the pile you have chosen in the description below this video. Again, we're putting them into four stacks, one, two, three, or four, and pick which stack which resonates best with you. Okay, so for those of you who have chosen pile number one, let's see what your tarot reading shows. The Ten of Cups. Well, this signifies the end of troubling times, like the rainbow that comes at the end of a storm. If you and your partner have been having issues, it looks like this year, 2023, you will be able to overcome them. The Ten of Cups embodies happiness, joy, and emotional contentment, particularly in your relationships. And there's an abundance of love and happiness in your life. The Ten of Cups is one of the best cards to get for a happy and harmonious relationship. The second card is the King of Wands, which goes very well with the previous card because it shows the relationship moving forward and overcoming obstacles. The King of Wands represents pure fire energy in its masculine form and someone who is ready to take action. So the third card for the first pile is death. Now, of course, this doesn't signify actual death of you, your partner, or the relationship, but a rebirth, a change, and transformation, both of yourselves and the relationship. This card shows a time of significant transformation change and transition. It's time for both of you to transform yourselves and clear away any old issues in your relationship and bring in renewed energy for more satisfying experience of life and love. So now we will shuffle the journey of love oracle cards to see what message the divine wants to bring into your life. So again, we would ask you to focus on your love interest and yourself Will I give these cards a quick shuffle to see what message the universe and the divine want to bring into your life for 2023 in regard to your love and relationship reading moving forward for this year? She loves. So the oracle brings a message from the divine. Love is here for you now. Are you ready to embrace it? It's also time to forgive yourself for the times you messed up forgot to trust, tried to take over, and didn't surrender to the universe in your relationship. Love is here for you now, so open your heart to love, because based on this reading, it looks like love will be changing in a positive direction for you as 2023 unfolds. So to sum it up, This is a relationship where one or both of you is actually going through changes and growth that you need to get to the next level. So for those of you who picked pile two, the four of wands is the first card and an excellent card for a love and relationship reading. It looks like there's a celebration of sorts coming, like a wedding, engagement, starting a family, something to celebrate. Perhaps you'll be discussing taking your relationship to the next level sometime in the early part of this year. Now, the Three of Swords is the second card. So later on in the year, there may be a fight which could possibly lead to a separation, although only temporary. One or both of you may be overly sensitive at this time and perhaps are having disagreements and misunderstandings that could lead to a temporary period of separation. The final card is the Ten of Wands, which tells us that with hard work, things will reconcile. This card also indicates that if there is a separation, it's time to turn your focus inward and focus on spiritual growth and awakening for yourself. Many people see the Ten of Wands as an oppressive energy, but there's a lot of spiritual energy in this card that you can use to help you heal. 
So as I shuffle the journey of love oracle cards again, let's take a moment to focus for those of you who chose stack number two. What message is the universe bringing forth from the divine for those of you who chose stack number two? Remember to focus on yourself, focus on your love, focus on the love that you want to bring into your life. And the shifting the universe's card ties in nicely with the three tarot cards for this spread. The message from this oracle is the universe is supporting you and nudging you toward a spiritual shift as expressed by the Ten of Wands to improve your life. Is there something you want to change about yourself or your life? This is your opportunity to search within yourself to find what might be holding you back. Now is the time to try something new. The universe has your back and is there to help you. So for those of you who chose pile number three, let's see what the universe has in store for you. The three of wands tells us a commitment is coming, but would be later on in the year. So if you have not met someone yet, look for later on this year for someone with real relationship potential to show up. If you're in a relationship, commitment or going to the next level in your relationship would be later on in this year, like mid to late 2023. So the second card for pile number three is the two of wands, which fits very nicely with the three of wands. It tells us your romantic interest isn't quite ready to make a move, but they're aware that they will when some things fall into place in their lives. Twos in tarot are usually about decisions, so they are aware that they must make, make a decision in terms of long-term future in regard to your relationship, Okay. And the Seven of Swords tells us that you may need to be more diplomatic. It's not always important to be right all the time. If you're in a relationship, being less aggressive when you speak, and this, this is not just for you, okay, this is for both of you, and being more open to listening can help the relationship going forward. It's time to disagree and leave it at that, and that can help with communication. But this card is also about making a plan. So if your partner is a bit on the fence, as the two of wands indicates, they are formulating a plan about how they want to move forward and how they want to proceed in terms of this relationship and perhaps taking this relationship to the next level. So again, as I shuffle the Journey of Love Oracle cards, let's take a moment to focus. For those of you who chose stack number three, focus on yourself, Focus on your love interest. Focus on what love you want to bring into your life. This is a message that the universe is bringing to you directly from the divine using these Journey of Love Oracle cards. So focus on yourself while I continue to shuffle. Focus on what you want to bring into your life. What message does the universe have for you? What message does the universe want you to hear? Okay. So this time the Oracle tells us, the breaking. Now, this is not about breaking of the relationship or a breakup of your relationship, but more about breaking down the barriers to self-love and being in a loving partnership. Perhaps you're frustrated things aren't moving as quickly as you want, as the two of ones and the three of ones may indicate, but we must understand these things will unfold, unfold with divine timing which is the timing of the universe. So love or commitment will come for you this year. You just have to wait. Now, for those of you who chose stack number four, your first card is the six of pentacles. This tells us your romantic partner will be more giving in the relationship than they have been. Perhaps you've been the giver and they've been the receiver, more so than the other way around. But this card tells us that you will be giving and receiving equally. Now, the Ace of Cups, of course, is an excellent card for a love forecast. If you're currently single, it can indicate new love coming into your life this year. If you're currently in a relationship, it can indicate that there's a genuine deepening of the love and connection between you. It's also an indicator of your love ro romantic partner being a soulmate or twin flame. And the final card for stack number four is the Six of Cups, which indicates a past love interest could be coming back into your life. So if you're wondering if you'll reconcile with an ex, it may happen this year. It, or it could just indicate your relationship will take on a renewed energy with you 
both rediscovering one another and any distance you had in your relationship being gone as you grow closer to each other like it was in the beginning. It's like a fresh start, but on a deeper level. So as I shuffle the Journey of Love Oracle cards again, take a moment to focus for those who chose stack number four. Focus on yourself. What message does does the divine want to bring forward? What message from the universe is coming forward for you, for yourself, for your love interest, for your love life, for this year, 2023, as we embark on this new year moving forward? What does the universe want to say to you? Acceptance. So this oracle brings you the message of acceptance. You are completely and totally accepted by the divine. They see what you contribute towards the healing of the planet and the lives of those around you. And if you're already in a romantic relationship, it also indicates both you and your romantic interest will accept one another as you are unconditionally and being open to the love connection that you share with each other. So these, all of these cards and all these different stacks, they may not resonate with everyone, or perhaps only some of them do. So take from this reading what resonates with you the most and disregard the rest. If there's anything, any one you would like to see in our tarot reading series, please leave a comment below and we'll definitely work on trying to make it happen. Thank as we will be doing more te- live tarot readings in the future. Um, so thank you for watching our 2023 live forecast, love forecast. And as always, we appreciate any comments you leave below and we do read them all and we answer them. And please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.